Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Before we get started today, I wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that joined our Symphony POS Support private Facebook group. It's awesome to be part of such a helpful community. If you want to join our group, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's free and open for everyone to join. We had a question last week from Mark who wanted to know more about automatic service charges. How do we add them? How do we remove them? And I thought that's a very interesting topic. So let's take a look at some service charges today. I have all of my service charger programmed at the enterprise level and you may have yours at a lower level. I will open the configuration tab and here under the sales area, I'm going to click on service charges. And these are all the service charges that I have programmed in the system. First, I have some service charges and then I have some gratuities. Now, the difference between these two is up to interpretation by each restaurant. But in our case, we use the service charges for any kind of charge we take in and keep as a restaurant. And we use the gratuities for anything that we pay to our servers and bartenders. So basically, the gratuities are referred to as tips and these are general service charges. Some other common service charges that we see are gift cards, both for sales and reloads and some deposits and fees such as admin fees or a deposit made if you take any deposit for a pre-booking in advance for a catering event or something of that matter. So let's take a look at the service charge dollar sign the way I have it designed here. I have both my service charges, the dollar sign and percent sign set as open amounts. So whenever we need to use them, we just press the button and because checkbox number one is selected, then we have to enter the amount. In this case, we enter a dollar sign. In this case, we enter a percentage. So if we take a look at this one for the percent I have set to zero, amount is set to zero because again, they are open. And then for the tax class, I've set none because usually service charges, we do not apply taxes to them. The privilege group is set to zero. So basically everybody can use them. If you want it to be just manager only, you want to set it to one or higher. And then none of these go to tips paid. This is for reporting purposes because these, like I said before, the service charges are kept by the house. The gratuities are the ones that get paid to the employees. And as far as reporting groups, I have service charge reporting groups is just the one general that kind of everything gets bundled together. And for the checkboxes for my open dollar service charge, I have one and two and then number 12 and then nothing further down. As far as itemizers, it all goes to add service charge itemizer for the menu levels. Everything is selected and I add them all on slew number one. I have one screen lookup on the POS, just screen lookup number one and all of my items are added there. As far as output, I just print them on the guest check and that's it. Now we can take a look at the percent. The difference between them is just box number two. So they're identical. Just box number two decides if this is an amount or a percentage. The gratuity dollar sign one will be programmed exactly the same with the exception that it has box number three checked to post this to tip reports and it's linked to the tips paid tender media and the percentage we pay to the employees is 100% and nothing else further down and everything else is itemized and menu item levels are the same and these are also on the screen lookup and the output is the same. Now the percentage sign and everything else is going to be programmed exactly like this one with the exception of box number two and these are all both of them open uh, dollar and upper percentage and we also have a couple of preset ones so the 18 percent one the difference is that box number one is not checked and here in the percentage we enter how much it is. So we could operate this in two ways. You could either press this button and enter 18% or if you want to have a predefined one and we use these for macros, we use them for a couple of other purposes and that's why we have predefined one, then you just enter the percentage here. And again, make sure the name is very clear as to what this is, if it's a gratuity, a service charge or whatever it is. We can also take a look at an admin fee. It works basically like an open amount service charge. We just have a different under the fee here for tracking purposes. And then for deposit made, it looks exactly the same. Now that we know how to program all of our service charges and gratuities, let's go to the workstation and take a look at how they work. So here we are at the workstation. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and begin a fast transaction for just one guest. And we can order an appetizer here, such as the Ahi Tuna for seat position one. And where I program also my service charges is here under the payment tab. And I have my service charge screen lookup. And this is the slew that I was talking about. This is where we have our admin fee, our deposit made. 
and our gratuities. So if we need to add a specific gratuity, we can just enter $10 gratuity and we have that on the screen. We can void it by selecting it and clicking the void key. And if we want to add one of the preset ones, we can just click on it and you can see 18% gratuity has been added. And again, we can remove those as well. And also it's the same for the service charges. So if we need to add a service charge, we can just type that in, click OK. And now we have a $10 service charge. One thing that you might find helpful is to enter box number five as well for the open service charges that are not preset. So this is reference entry required. And what this will do is it will pop up a keyboard for you to enter any kind of information that you need. For example, when you take a deposit, you can just enter the name of the guest for service charges that are open. For example, you can also check box number five and you can enter some information there to see what exactly that service charge was used for. And that's good for tracking and it's also good for the guests so they know exactly what they paid for. And now let's take a look at automatic service charges. We can close the service charges here and in order to set any of them as automatic, we're gonna work with the tender parameters. Now tender parameters can be found at any level in EMC, both at enterprise property and revenue center. And there could be many reasons why a location would choose to use an automatic gratuity. For some places, it's just the rule that the entire location charges a certain percentage as a gratuity. And for some places, you will see it in just one of the outlets, such as in-room dining will charge a 20% service charge. It's very common in a lot of hotels. So if you want to set your service charge automatic for the entire location, you should open tender parameters either at the enterprise level or property level go to the configuration and you will see here an automatic service charge drop down and I can select automatic service charge of 18%. And all you have to do is click save. Now, if one of the outlets does not have that service charge or maybe it has a higher one. So let's take an example as the bar. Let's say for whatever reason, our bar has a higher service charge. We can go to tender parameters. And if we go to the configuration tab, you see that this is inherited from the enterprise. So in order to change it just for this outlet, all we have to do is click create override, answer yes, then go to our configuration and select our gratuity as 24% and save. And now we're going to have the entire properties all having an 18% service charge and the bar has a 24% service charge. Now, this being an automatic gratuity, if we need to remove it, which was the main question that Mark had, uh, we don't see it on the screen as a menu item like you saw them before where you can just highlight it and then remove it. So what we need to do is we need to add a button to the screen. So I'm going to go to the configuration tab, go to page design and then open my transactions page. Change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and then we can go to the payment screen and we'll add a button here somewhere. I can just change this one. I'll copy it, paste it here. I'll just add it here on top of my cache. Maybe change the color to it, this nice olive color. And then this is going to be a function. And the function that we're going to look for, I'm just going to type in auto service charge. And I'm going to look for exempt auto service charge. So this is the function that we're going to assign it. Click OK and then just generate legend. So this takes on the name of whatever function we assigned. And now we can just save and let's go to the workstation and see how that works. And here we are at the workstation. And as always, I'm going to click a quick update and go ahead and sign in. And I'm going to begin a fast transaction for one person and ring up one of our appetizers. Now we see the appetizer here for 15%, no gratuity on the bottom. But if we look here, we see gratuity 18% for $2.70. And this is the issue that I was telling you about. If you would like to remove it, if a guest complains or you want to exempt it for any reason, there's no way to select it and then just hit void. So now we have the button that we programmed and remember we added it here under the payment screen. That's just exempt auto service charge. So if I click it, now that gratuity is gone. So everything behaves just as we want it to and we can cancel out of this and we can check the auto revenue center. Remember the bar had a higher service charge.
we're going to begin a fax transaction here as well ring up one of our tunas and now we have a gratuity 24 percent so this one also works very well and we can exempt it if we need to exempt it and that is all i have for everyone today that is how you would program service charges and automatic service charges in oracle hospitality symphony mark thank you very much for your question i hope this video was helpful and if you have a question or would like to suggest a programming topic for a future video please leave it in the comments below remember to join our free facebook group thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time